At the start of this year, we were commissioned to survey some of the geological sites of special scientific interest in Dorset as part of a review by Natural England. To give you an insight, here's Sam, our Head of Heritage and Conservation, talking about three of the sites he surveyed on Portland. We are on Portland to assess the condition of some of the geological interests in the Isle of Portland uh, site of special scientific interest. So it's a triple SI, there's all sorts of reasons why it's special. There's, there's wildlife, there's plant life, and there's geology and fossils. And the interest is spread about in all different places around the island, in old quarries, in cliff faces, all sorts of different things to look at. And we are stood on the edge of Blacknoy here, which itself is interesting because of the landslides looking at cliffs which are interesting because of the stratigraphy that they have um, and this is an old quarried ledge in the cliff they would have once upon a time lifted the stone off a building and all sorts of other things and it exposed a particular surface known as the fossil forest and you might have heard of the fossil forest if you know anything about the, the Jurassic Coast as existing over near Longworth within the army ranges out there well that layer of rock is also exposed in other parts of Dorset and on Portland so you can see little structures like this dome that I'm stood on here. That's that same story of, uh, of a swamp coming in and forming to flood a forest and algae growing in these mats that formed over decaying logs and decaying tree stumps and all sorts of other things like that. So I wouldn't say that this is a spectacular exposure of the fossil forest particularly, um, but it's one of the things that is noted in the SSSI, which is why we've come here to check it. We're about to go to King Barrow Quarry which is operated by Dorset Wildlife Trust. I think they own the site, in fact. And in there, there are much better examples um, of the same structures you see over at Lulworth. So we'll maybe pick it up over there and we'll have a look at what we can see. Right, we've come out of King Barrow and we're now visiting a place called Nicodemus Knob. This is one of the older sites of quarrying on Portland. And it's famous for this strange stack of Portland stone that's been left behind. Um, uh, it's assumed that it was left there to show the original ground level before all the stone around it and behind it was quarried away. So you could come down into this if that wasn't there and just think it was a natural step down in the rocks or in the coastline perhaps. But that shows you that that is a new rock that's been removed from here sent off, who knows, around the world to build all kinds of things. Um, and you can tell from where we're standing here on the edges of the quarry that we are not quite at the same height as that. So the benches you can see below us actually go away from us inland here as well and are covered in scrub and are harder to see as a quarry surface. But it's just amazing to think that just in this one location that volume of stone was removed. Um, and there's loads and loads of other quarries on Portland as well. So the amount of stone that's come from this island uh, is quite staggering. So this is Yolan's Quarry, it's one of the many disused quarries on Portland. Uh, it wasn't too long ago that this was an active quarry where they were removing stone, but now it's moved into restoration phase. As you can see there's a great big piles of spoil which are being shoved into this hole in the ground um, to bring it back up into something that can be used for other purposes. But it's also a site of special scientific interest. And like a lot of quarries, it's mainly to do with the exposures of the rocks, the stratigraphy, the layers of the Portland stone uh, working all the way up through them that you uh, have access to from these workings. So the faces below us are probably going to be retained and not filled in entirely. Uh, and checking these places is really quite straightforward. You come and you look at this, yep, you can still see all the rocks. The restoration isn't interfered or damaged those exposures, so they're probably going to sit there quite happily now for a long time. Uh, and be available for future scientific study because the point of these places is it's the potential for the things they could yet reveal uh, as new theories and new ways of scientific investigation um, are created.